All right, take four. Hopefully, I can get through this one. I started and then I got interrupted. And, uh, you know, I live in elderly housing. And people are curious of what I'm doing. And they keep coming up, interrupting me. So I keep stopping and starting. And I'm still learning how to use my cell phone because I got a new one. And so I've been, uh, been out of action for a while because I had two surgeries, knee replacement, and then I had my shoulder, you know, torn rotator, so I had that fixed. So I've been getting better. I'm stronger now, and but uh, I've lost like 20 pounds, and so I got to get back to the gym and do stuff. And uh, so I've just been doing little things to the van that I could, you know, handle. I'm getting a little stronger now, so I had to redo this back because my refrigerator, I got a new refrigerator, and it's taller. I had to make everything start over again. And so I decided to do this. And, that, you know, eventually I'll figure out how to lock these so nobody can get in. This way, storage. And I got another storage right here. And a couple of shelves, whatever I want to do. I can always take the shelves out. And then this box comes out. This slides out. And, you know, I've got my tools in there, screwdrivers, and nuts and bolts, and things like that. And this slide right in. I didn't get the glides because. I, I don't know, I just take up too much room and stuff, so that works fine. And so right now I'm tinting my windows. And uh, I tried the film and it just, uh, along the edge, the windows are already tinted. I already started because somebody interrupted me, so right along the edge here, you gotta get a little closer here, I'll show you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to see, but right along the edge here, you can see the little lines, little dots. Well, then it gets air in there, and it shows um, like air bubbles. It's white, and it's like a ring around your door. So let's see if I can find it. Put this back in the right place. I think I'm off a little bit. There we go. Ooh, careful. There we go. And so I got this stuff called plastic dip. And it's like a rubberized and it won't peel right off. But it takes quite a few coats to get it to be black. Like right now you can see it, it's just kind of hazy. And um, so, and uh, I got some other things I'll show you some other time. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, um, I'm here, it's been a while. Uh, it seems like every time I start doing something on the van, I forget to do videos. And you know, our content, how we want to say it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I'll start doing some more, and it's been, like I said, it's been a while, and uh, and so I've just been doing little things, and looking online, and buying stuff, which I shouldn't be, because I'm spending too much money, you know, in your downtime, and you can't do anything. It's, what do you do, you spend money, so. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've been just um, trying to recuperate, and uh, hopefully I will be done with PT on my shoulder soon, so I can get back and doing more things like I want to. And I have been struggling because some of the stuff I've been doing is, is heavy, and it hurts the arm. So, but uh, all right, so this is plastic dip, and it peels off, and I've been just been spraying it, as you can see up here. But it's going to take quite a few coats. Well, I'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you how it gets darker, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it's getting a little darker. It takes almost almost a whole can because it's almost like transparent. And so you got to keep going over it and... So I cleaned it off before I started, and I took some coffee filters, wiped it down because it's all lint. And you just take it and spray it over. I mean, but you gotta make sure when you spray it, okay, you keep the button, go, you know, keep the spray going because you keep stopping and starting. That's how you get runs and stuff. So you gotta overlap it. You know, like start over here, you just go back and forth. That's it. You actually can, you know, just keep going. Yeah, you just keep going over like that. That way, you don't stop and start, and then you get the runs and stuff. And so, um, that's what I've been doing, and you know, and so uh, I had to make sure I um, 
taped it all up and everything because last time I did the other door, it was all over the place. I was in a hurry. And so, um, you know, I just, uh, this time I took my time. And so, um, all right, I'll be back in a little bit and we'll uh, see how, was, how we're progressing. All right. <laughs> Okay, I had a copy somewhere and I found it. Um, so when you're, when you're painting this, this nozzle is weird because if you paint it, like if you want to go up and down, it leaves a streak. And if you go sideways, it widens it out. So when I have to, when I want to go this way, keep it different directions, I gotta go this way and then this way. You don't want those streaks because it's just too much. So we're gonna do this and uh, do some more of this like this. So. Let's see, make sure I got it right. There we go. Back and forth. Overlap. There you are. And you're probably going to say, why are you blocking out your windows? You ain't going to be able to see. Well, I got a backup camera. And so I'll be able to, so I can see it. And then um, I've got my stickers. No problem. And the windows had already had blocks in them, you know, blocked up. So, but, um, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that when I got the new refrigerator, I had to raise the bed up. And I thought it was going to be simple. Nothing's easy. You think something's going to go real quick? <laughs> nope. So, uh, it was a job to redo everything. But, I mean, it's worth it because, you know, got more space now and everything. And we did stuff. And, you know, I got this up like this and stuff. And, like I said, I want air to get in here. So if I'm out camping somewhere, it's hot. Cause these, your screens here, I got windows in them right now, plexiglass. And these here, I don't have to worry about it because they're blocked off. I'm not gonna go anywhere. But here, I didn't want the bugs getting in. I'm gonna have to figure out something here. All right, grab it. And then I probably can put some knobs here because I think there's enough room between my door and this. I have the space, and then I can all spill this back in. And. uh so yeah, so I'm gonna try to see if I can find something or put some no more knobs so I can pull it out. So um, all right, we'll let that dry and we'll be back in a minute or two. All right, as you can see, my left door is totally almost invisible. All the, you know the the darkness they already put on the windows, and that's why I'm using the rubber spray or the plastic dip. And uh, that way I can peel it off if I need to. I was thinking about spray painting it black, and I'm like, nah, because eventually it's going to crack, and you're going to see all that. It's going to look like crap. And then I had, let me see, come over here. I had the reflectives on it, so that it would keep, you know, reflect the heat out. And I had insulation there, too, styrofoam insulation. And this was what was shown on the outside of the window. So, you know, when you right behind you, you see, you see this. And so everybody said, uh, you know, this looks better. So I said, yeah, you're right. So that's why I did it. So let's see, we're gonna readjust the camera. And we'll give one more coat. As you can see, it's getting darker, but it takes a long time because you need quite a few coats. And um, boy, I'll tell you, I wish I knew how to edit, but <laughs> next time in the future, I'll do that. So I'm gonna give it a few more coats. And then uh, we'll come back. Okay, as you can see, it's almost done. You know, you still see through it, but it takes quite a few coats. And they tell you uh, to, um, you know, let it, let it sit for like 24 hours. Nah, I ain't got that kind of time. So uh, hopefully I'm in the camera here. I can't tell. And so, and I'm, you know, I've been trying to keep myself busy. And I got a long list at Amazon in my cart, what I want, and, you know. I mean, I could pull out a piece of paper down to the, you know, to the ground. Am I gonna get it all? Probably not. Um, and I'm one that likes to keep busy. And so I've done, you know, just like keep myself busy. And uh, so I, down, down in the woods down there, I made a little, little shack, what do you want to call it? Out of pallets. And uh, just like, you know, like a little getaway. And just, you know, because I like to kind of like be by myself because a little while ago, my neighbor was looking out the window. Almost made me, you know, 
you know, lose my train of thought. So, uh, and so that's why I kind of like a little privacy down there because no one comes down there, you know, because there's ticks down there and snakes and you name it, all kinds of critters. And, uh, yeah, so um, I'll, I'll show you the video of it or that I make. Now I'm starting to get nervous. Um, I'll make a video of it and what I did and try to keep it as cheap as possible. And uh, it was not easy making stuff out of pallets, especially when the ground's not even. So I had to buy some lumber and, uh, and you know, some of the stuff for the roof and stuff. But otherwise, I try to use much natural material like trees out there and logs and a lot you know a lot of the trees are down so i've been cutting with a handsaw and when i first started i had to use just my right hand because i couldn't use my left one because it was in a sling so i'm out there cutting logs and move oh ah, pain in the butt that was but um so by tomorrow that should be all done um it's getting a little cool out so it's got to take a while because you know it's it's not drying quick so uh all right, I'll see you later, and uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, hopefully I will make another video soon. See you later. <laughs>